Hi, we're Bacara. Today we will deliver our innovation about Bacara, a real-time Indonesian sign language translation app. First, let us tell you the reason why Bacara is made in the first place. So in this whole world, there are 466 million people who suffer from hearing impairment. And that's a large number in Indonesia itself. 5,000 babies are born each year deaf. We know that a lot of our deaf in Indonesia faces challenges in communicating with hearing people like us. It's because our deaf friend mainly use sign languages to communicate with society. But sadly, not everyone in society understands sign languages. So can you imagine if you try to speak and yet no one understands you? and that will be pretty hard and difficult. So even though their way of communication is different from us, we still have to remember that they are still part of us. It is important to note that in Indonesia, our deaf and mute friend uses two types of sign languages. First one is called TB, which is mainly used in academic or formal environments such as school or meeting. The second one is called Bisindo, which is mainly used in general conversation such as when they're hanging out. So, what solution does Bacara offer? Before talking about the Bacara solutions, let's take a look at the existing solutions. Today, there are some mobile tools that can remove the communications gap with our deaf friends. Two of them are HandTalk and HearMe. They provide a similar solutions which translates text and voice to an animations of sign language. So they can help their friends to understand what hearing friends say. Unfortunately, they haven't provided the solutions to help hearing friends to understand what their friends say using sign language. Based on previous facts, Bachara offers a novel solutions in the form of a mobile applications that can interpret sign language using AI and convert it to text and audio. So hearing friends no longer face challenges when they want to communicate with deaf or mute friends. Here is the demo of Bachara applications. When we open the applications, we will see the introduction page and before we use applications, we have to create our new account so we can use it to access the applications. And then we sign in using the account that we have created before. And this is our homepage that contain the library as the first features. In library, we can search any word that we want to know what is the sign language of it? And then pay game features, but we still develop it. And also the report bug. This is our profile page. And this is our main features, the translations page. In this demonstration, we try to detect the aku bisa, bisa. bicara which means I can speak. Bicara. Wow, after seeing our app demo, you will think Bacara is a cool app, right? So let us tell you how it was made. Well, Bacara was made using various tools like TensorFlow, Koku API, Kuda and Kuda and Anaconda, Kotlin, Android Studio, Google Text-to-Speech API, and Firebase. Bacara sign language object detection model was trained using our custom dataset which include image of 10 common words in CD. Each word will have 25 image. Curious about our data set? Check out this Kaggle link. The cool object detection model that you've seen in the demo was made from SSD MobileNet version 2. This model combines the SSD that is used to isolate object that you want to detect and MobileNet version 2 that is used to extract the feature of the object. This combination succeed in producing a perfect sign language classifier. We do transfer learning on the SSD MobileNet version 2, the model that has been trained using the Coco API dataset. 
we retrain them using vicarious DB dataset to get the vicarious sign language detection model. All the transfer learning process are facilitated by TensorFlow Optic Detection API. The deployment process of the CB detection model could be summarized in three steps. The data processing will include acquiring, pre-processing, and labeling the data set. Model training, which includes setting up the existing model and training the model. And the last is model compression that includes converting checkpoint files to .pv file, then to tfi.file. And in other sides, the Android team starts to develop the Bachar apps by designing the UI of the app. That includes designing the app workflow and the XML of each fax. Then develop each activity or page in the apps. Next, they implemented and integrate the feature including object detections, authentications, and text -to speech features. And the development of the Bachara cloud computing aspect is quite simple. The cloud computing team set up the services that needed, which include uh, computer engine, cloud functions, text to speech API, and Firebase. And then they collaborate with Android team to integrate the service. And if you want to dive in about how Bachara has been made, feel free to visit us on our GitHub. Bachara has three developmental phases. In the first phase, we focus on planning, developing, and testing our MVP. Next, in the second phase, we focus on scaling our sign language corpus and developing interactive quiz feature. Then, in the third phase, we will develop live translation feature. Right now, Bachara have passed the first phase. Okay, you've seen how impressive Bachara technologies. Now, let's talk about how Bachara runs the business. The users of the Bachara app would come from the relative of our deaf and mute friends, special education in Indonesia who need Bachara to help deaf friends improve their communication ability, and the last is formal or business institution that hire different as employee and make them communicate with hearing people. Bachara will provide a free plan and premium plan. Access to feature in the free plan will be limited as shown in this table. Otherwise, in the premium plan, the users will get unlimited access to all features in the app. Revenue of Bachara comes from user subscription as active income and advertising from Google AdSense as passive income. If Bachara gets 100 initial users and the user growth for each month reaches 30%, Bachara will get around 4,800 US dollars or 69 million rupiah in the six months. In the early six months of our business, we predicted that we would spend around 3,900 of US dollars or around 55 million rupiah. Most of our spending comes from production costs of services which respectively cover 66.5% of our total budget. These are what sign language interpreters think about our application. That's all from us. Thank you. Bacara. Menyatukan. Hati. Yang. Bicara.